Hi, welcome to another Root Solutions video. I'm Angela, and in the next minutes I will show you a few programming examples in MathCAD. If you are familiar with MathCAD and curious about its programming functionalities, this video will give you some ideas on how to get started. Here is my MathCAD worksheet. I will go over all these examples and show you how they work. The first example is going to return two strings joined together. Hello world. Please note that assigning a value to a variable uses a different symbol than normal MathCAD mode. The last line of the program specifies the value we want the program to return. After that, all we need to do is call the program in a similar way we call a function. The second example will print the first n numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. To achieve this, we have to use a for loop, which will count how many numbers we need to calculate. The i in the for loop will take every single integer value from 3 to n. Every term will be the sum of the previous two terms. The program then returns the whole array of required numbers. All the user has to do now is specify how many numbers they want to see. I think everyone watching this video knows if a number is even or odd just by looking at it, but MathCAD can do it too. We got a bit of help from one of MathCAD's built-in functions, mod or MOD, which returns a reminder of dividing n by 2. The next example shows the creation of a matrix where all the elements are equal to the sum of the row and column number thereon. Here we need two for loops which will help us go through all the elements of a 2D array. The arguments passed to the program specify the matrix size required by the user. This next example is a classic programming problem, checking if a number is prime. This algorithm uses a for loop that goes from 2 to n over 2 and checks if the number n divides with any of these values. If it does, then clearly the number is not a prime number and the execution stops. If it doesn't divide with any of the numbers, then n is prime. Another simple and straightforward example is finding the greatest common divisor of two numbers. And the last program on this page uses a recursive method to calculate n factorial. It's called recursive because the solution to the problem depends on solutions to smaller instances of the same problem. In other words, the program will call itself if it needs to. The powerful calculation engine means that MathCAD won't struggle with higher values. Let's move on to more advanced examples now. The first program in this section uses an algorithm designed by Rabinowitz and Wagon to print the first n digits of pi. You can find out more about how the algorithm works if you follow the link in the worksheet. This method is based on the idea of conversion between bases and makes use of some of MathCAD's built-in functions. The adaptive quadrature is a method that approximates the integral of a function using static quadrature rules on refined subintervals of the domain. Again, we have a recursive program called ADAPT, which is set up to be able to call itself in case the integration domain interval needs to be reduced further. We're going to compare the results we get from this approximation to the results we get by using MathCAD's built-in integration operator. We can observe the results are pretty close, but bear in mind that this is only an approximation and there will be some room for errors. And 
this takes me to the last example, which will show you how to manipulate large amounts of data. I have an Excel component with a data set that I want to sort. I also want to remove duplicate entries from the data set. All this and more can be done by using programs in MathCAD. For the sort program, we use a bubble sort algorithm that repeatedly steps through the list to be sorted, compares each pair of adjacent it items, and swaps them if they are in the wrong order. The program stops when it loops through the entire array without finding a pair that needs swapping. The second program looks for elements that have the same value, and if it finds any, it transforms one of them into a not a number. The program stops when it loops through all the array without finding a pair of equal elements. At the end, it returns the array after filtering out the not a number element. As an example, we have the matrix M and we can see what happens when we use the programs to sort and remove duplicate entries. Let's now perform these changes on the Excel set of data. These kinds of programs can save you a lot of time and offer you great flexibility if your job involves working with large amounts of data. Thanks for watching and enjoy programming with MathCAD.